everyone. Welcome in my kitchen, Dominic's kitchen. Finally I'm back. I've been sick for more than a week so um, today I'm back and I'm going to prepare a uh, very nice oven dish, very nice oven dish with um, cod. I chose cod um, together with leek and tomatoes. So let's start cooking. So first I'm going to start with the onion. Uh, I sliced two uh, big onions in rings or half rings, whatever you want to. And I'm going to bake these in some olive oil until they're translucent. So I'm going to add the onion. In the original recipe um, they season it with curry powder, also with salt and pepper, but uh, with curry powder. But I like curry powder, but today I'm not in the mood for curry powder, so uh, I'm just gonna season them with some pepper and salt. So once uh, this is translucent we're gonna add 200 ml I guess 250 ml of cream for the sauce um, and let it simmer a bit so first I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. I use quite a lot of pepper, but that's up to you. If you want to use less, you can, of course. So now we're gonna cook this for a couple of minutes until it's translucent, and then we're going to add the cream. After a couple of minutes, the onion is translucent and I'm going to add the cream now. I also took a little bit of uh, a small part of a fish stock cube which I'm going to add just for the, the flavor if you have a little bit of white wine you can also add it this always gives a good taste to the sauce so now I'm going to let this simmer for about two minutes I guess so it can thicken a bit. I'm gonna taste it to see if the seasoning is good. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the fish stock cube. Not the paper. I'm gonna lower the heat a bit. And just let it simmer gently for about two minutes because afterwards it still has to go into the oven for 35 minutes so this will thicken a bit more. So now uh, the only thing I did was fry my onions and make the sauce. Uh, the rest will be put in the oven dish raw. First of all I'm gonna make two of these because yeah for me and my, my friend. So um, first I'm gonna 
grease it a bit you can also use butter for that if you want to but now I take oil so per dish uh, I use or I cut uh, one leek white very thin which I'm gonna put on the bottom then I also cut or sliced one tomato uh, in very fine slices which I'm gonna put on top of the leek So I already gonna use a bit of salt and pepper. Then uh, we going to add the fish. So I um, used cod, uh, frozen one actually, because yeah, this is cheaper than uh, the fresh one, but you can of course use fresh uh, one. Maybe I will cut it now and then. There are still some bones in it, which I'm gonna remove, try to remove like so I'm gonna slice it in two where's my knife <clears throat> I'm gonna slice it in two season with salt and pepper Put it on top of the tomatoes, season the other side. So now I'm gonna put the sauce with the onions, so onions and cream. I will Put this on top. A little bit of sauce. of this some shredded cheese mine is also coming out of the freezer but that doesn't matter it will melt anyway in the oven so this one is ready now, I will make the second one and I'll see you in a minute. So my two dishes are ready to go into the oven. I already preheated my oven uh, at 180 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna put these ones in the oven for about 35 minutes so see you then so this dish has been in the oven for 35 minutes ready to serve
And look at this. I can say that a leek with curry powder and uh, cream is a divine combination, especially when it's served with fish. And if you don't like tomatoes or warm tomatoes, you can always replace them with thinly sliced carrots. It is as good as with tomatoes. Hello again, welcome in my kitchen, Dominique's kitchen. Um, hello again and welcome in my kitchen. Um, hello again, uh, welcome in my bubble. So, the dish has been. Mani, ik ben het aan het filmen. So, the dish has been in the oven for 30. Mooi, hoge stok. 